same Zoom link as each other. So we were still in the docs meeting uh, when Paul joined for the project. Okay. Yes, so this is now the project operations weekly meeting. Um, but previously, these two meetings were not next to each other at all. And so sharing the same Zoom URL made sense. Now that they are right next to each other, that does not work so well. So we're going we're gonna to get them a new, a new Zoom URL for next week. All righty. Um, as we discussed last week, um, we kind of want to do a um, going over the main objectives for this group um, and doing kind of updates and what, what's new within this call. Um, so I've updated the agenda template for, thank you, Dietrich, for actually pointing to the correct day of the week. So, he, oh, yeah, here is our note stock um, for, this, for this group. And if you are leading um, kind of one of these areas, if you could give a quick update if there's anything new in your area or any um, blockers or things that you'd like people's input or visibility into, um, that'd be super useful. Then the other two, oh, I have two cats. Um, then the other agenda items um, can be added below that. So one is finalizing Q3 OKRs um, and a couple other like tracking and OKR related questions. So feel free to add more agenda items as well. Kittens, what are you doing? Um, maybe let's start going through some of these things as people, or maybe let's give people another minute to write and then we'll, we'll start from the top. Sound good? Michael, your puppy is really cute. Hello. Does he or she have a name, Michael? He does. Uh, it's Sergeant, and he got home last night, so I'm showing him off to everybody. Oh. Well, welcome to the... IPFS family, Sergeant. He's pretty excited. He looks very cuddly. Cool. Well, let's. We don't have uh, have that much time, so let's take let's take a pass through. Um, all right. First things first. IPFS implementations are shipping quality releases on a schedule. Um, there were a couple of meetings last week. Um, I think Stephen, do you want to give a quick recap of of the two meetings? Yes. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we had yeah, two main meetings. One was uh, reviewing the release plan, which has now been merged. Uh, so, GoFest now actually has a um, more structured, rigorous release process. 
uh, we still need to coordinate with our uh, early testers and make sure they're completely on board with what we're going to ask them to do. Uh, but yeah, that, that'll be really great. Uh, we're going to test that with the next release, which will be a patch release with no new features. Uh, next up is uh, we all had, or uh, Juan, Molly, and myself had a, um, uh, a meeting to discuss like the plan to start releasing again. Uh, so now we have a roadmap that um, basically just covers like all the tests and things we need to do before we feel comfortable coming into release or a new feature release. So happened there. There's a lot of stuff in there, so it's going to take us a while to get to that point. But um, we'll definitely be discussing the the items that flowed out of that meeting. Cool, collaborations, Dietrich slash Arcadi. Hello, let's see, I'm not sure if we have Arcadi on this meeting today. No, we don't. So I will represent. Uh, last week we got together for a couple of days, Arcadi was in San Francisco and we camped out at the lab space in the final days and hours of its existence. Uh, to plan how to systematize uh, collaborations and the, the, and also kind of revitalize the user registry and use that as a base and single source of truth for how we track the people we know that are using IPFS and the relationships we have with a subset of those people. The kind of overarching characteristic of what we wanted to design was uh, a, as as simple as possible while providing the the basic core fun functionality that we need which is not full-blown CRME type of situation, but an understanding, uh, being able to answer the most important questions to us, which most often turns out to who, who is using IPFS, what are they using it for, and do we have a way to communicate directly with them if, if need be. Um, so we'll probably have something to be able to present to this meeting for review uh, a week after this one, since this week will be partially eaten up by D-Web Camp. I guess this isn't, it isn't quite collaboration since we didn't work with these folks, but um, attending the Mitchell Park Library IPFS exhibit was super, super cool. And um, definitely like, if, if anything comes of it in terms of awesome, cool collaborations with libraries to bring workshops or anything like that, um, I'll, I'll let this group know and hopefully we can, uh, anyone who happens to be in town could, could come. It was the library staff at Mitchell Park Library. Like, literally, I found it because of Reddit, not because it happens to be like, you know, less than a mile away, so. Um, really cool stuff. That photo was amazing. Yeah, there is another photo, which I do not have yet because someone from the library took it with, of like, you know, the people who actually spent all of the time creating that amazing box, including doing all of the lettering on it, which is mind blowing, including a, uh, a QM hash with like all of these little letters. It's crazy, but, uh, but yeah, super snazzy. Cool. Um, community news. The only thing I have here is having uh, launched David's awesome IPFS camp recap blog post. Thank you, David, for, for putting that together and for everyone for, for contributing. Thank you for finishing it and winning it. So awesome work, everyone. Um, anyone else have any communications related things they've seen? I know we have an agenda item to talk, talk about this a little bit more. All righty. Um, Maintenance, T-Trick. Yeah, I uh, had a, a web browser and GUI meeting last week. Uh, talked a little bit about this. Uh, there's, there are no fires at this point, which is good. Um, but I think that the next step is going to be kind of formalizing what, that, what the, the delivery and metrics around the, the maintenance of things that we want to continue moving forward, yet not moving forward at the speed of the most important things looks like and I think part of that is is finding DRIs for what each one of those things being being really clear about what those things are uh, it if you have thoughts about what success looks like for for something like this um, you know feel free to chop them in 
it's it's weird that success is a negative there, not not a negative, but the absence of effort, so, some effort to ensure the absence of effort. Uh, but it, I think it, you know, it, as long as the the products are still functioning, I think that that's probably the biggest risk is that work in area A results in a regression in low priority area B that we don't see. Um, that's probably the best, biggest risk there. So just that uh, our products are not regressing in functionality would probably be a good way of measuring success. Yeah, something like no regressions, or if there are regressions, we catch them and fix them very quickly. So like right. kind of the combination of those two things, um, you know, if we are, we are proactive enough about um, paying attention to and addressing any issues that come up to make sure that the web UI and desktop and these things that our users and we <laughs> rely on all the time in order to, to make use of IPFS um, continue supporting our needs really effectively. Um, is the place, I noticed um, Henrique is, is, couldn't attend this call today. I don't know if he can in the future. Um, is the current place where we're going to talk about maintenance and such this um, web browser's GUI meeting? Or do we also need to try and carve a time out of the core implementation implementations call or something else for that? I, I think it's probably fine to keep in that meeting for now. All the, the, the same people who are working on those areas are still going to that one. So can be neat. Sounds good. Do we need research? All right, my turn. Okay, cool. Uh, let me know if my connection breaks a little bit. It seems like it's a little bit worse than it is normally. Um, so on research lands, uh, huge high five to Yanis and George. Uh, basically, they took ownership of writing a proposal for uh, a tutorial uh, at ACM ICN in September, and the proposal got sent, not in time, but was in time, um, and and like we got a response back that was like very positive. We don't have a official confirmation, but the email was pretty much, oh, I'll contact you in a few days to confirm how uh, <laughs> like the, the 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 trainers' biographies and so on. Um, so yeah, we we expect that to be fully accepted. Uh, then we have like a me and Molly had a chat last week about like um like just rebooting. IPFS specs, um, in which multiple people can collaborate uh, to get the specs into a state. Like it's not research per se, but like it's something that supports research, as in um, we will be able to have informed discussions about how IPFS works today so that we know how to improve it. Uh, and there's a pull request, um, it got submitted um, recently, so like review is appreciated. Then there is a, a meeting happening this Wednesday. Um, like it is a meeting after many, many emails, but like it's basically me, Evan, and, um, and George uh, sitting in person in Porto to review like multiple of the research plans and ideas that have been like coding through multiple emails and, and just kind of like articulating that and, uh, and uh, paving the path for, for the next quarters. So I, I expect to have lots more updates after that meeting happens. That's it. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Um, all right. Michelle, I'm assuming your question was at a, about a previous item and not research. Okay, cool. Um, then, then we'll just continue onwards. Um, the first item for us is finalizing Q3 OKRs. Um, right before this meeting, I sent out um, a note about having a, an all hands where we can present these things and make it available to the community as well, this explanation of the things that we're prioritizing for the quarter. Um, so the, the goal there, the need for us is to finalize our OKRs prior to that meeting such that we can present them back to the rest of the community and feel really good about them. We now have a, um, a GitHub issue. So if folks wanna kind of comment back and forth or continue um, refining wording on these things, I think we should aim to have this in the spreadsheet by Wednesday so that we have any, any time necessary to um, do any final things before, before our meeting on Thursday. I and a number of other people, I think, disappear off to do web camp um, midday on Thursday. So uh, the, that's kind of our cutoff for making sure that that gets done this week as well. Um, 
so I, and there's been some progress on these things, but I think we could work on making them more precise and measurable. Um, and, it, it, you know, we, having some initiatives is okay, but making sure we have metrics that are going to tell us whether or not those um, initiatives are doing what we care about and whether we're being successful in those things um, is really important. So um, there are DRIs, I think, for each area. Um, please do continue to take a pass through and probably on, uh, on Thursday, we, we can um, have people speak through their particular area from the sheet. Any open questions or thoughts about OKRs? That, that sounds good. Thanks for moving these to PR. Uh, the, the measurement part is going to be really important, especially since we're already uh, one-sixth into the quarter. Yeah, and I think the, to the extent that we can have fewer items in our OKRs, it's better. Um, having too many things makes it really hard to prioritize across. So let's, let's really focus on having the most important things be what we're tracking here. Um, um, or the indicators that all of our work ends up being successful um, versus the li to-do list of all of the things we plan to do this quarter. We realize we're going to do a lot of stuff. Um, OKRs is not the best place to track our, our very optimistic to-do list of everything we want to do. Cool. Do, 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 do. What is not yet represented in OKRs? Um, I, Yeah, definitely supporting supporting team growth um, is is kind of one of those areas. Um, Dietrich, you had a hand. Yeah, I, so I I added this because I remember things being on the on the uh, boards that we were sketching on at Team Week, but then I reviewed the photos and it it's actually pretty good. The hiring is represented here and there, but not wholly as a cohesive thing. So I feel like that's one area where there's uh, a bunch of activity that I, doesn't maybe necessarily need to be represented in OKRs, but it, that was, uh, I think you added that there, or somebody else did. That was the only thing that was on the board in several places, but then showing up in the OKRs. Michelle? I put that in. I'm not sure if it should be tracked here, but it was more that I know it takes up a lot of time, so it's something to consider as we, you know, decide what we're focusing on this quarter. It will take, um, it's probably some of the people on this call that will be time sucked a way to help with that. So we should um, acknowledge that and have it tracked somewhere. Yeah, the other area that I feel, reflecting back on that, I feel like um, we could use some more definition is things around community support. Um, that being something that, you know, there are already people who are doing amazing work in, in the wider IPFS community to support people onboarding and um, kind of run local chapters and, and also be super engaged um, in, in the IPFS community and helping people. And so figuring out how we can continue supporting community support and, um, and help others in, invest in this and make IPFS um, more, more useful for people who are onboarding on it. I think that falls within this group. However, I don't see us having a lot of OKRs for it so far. Um, yet I think that we are the place where that work falls. Um, so that's a, another, another gap. Um, all right. If there aren't any other items, moving on to the next thing, which is where do we want to track this group's work? Um, proposal so far is IPFS slash project, which is what we've used in the past for tracking this. Um, that's, I, I have made a pull request to uh, the description of IPFS slash project, which describes this group um, and kind of the stuff we're, we're taking on this quarter. So uh, that's the direction I've been going in my head, um, but also aware that like some things aren't always the best, the best fit for GitHub issues um, or are going to be better tracked in IPFS slash blog or something like that, um, which I think is okay, but that, that's been my top level, like the default of tracking these things in IPFS slash project um, was where my head was going. Does anyone have other, other ideas or alternate suggestions? 
I, I, added, I added this mostly, again, from a kind of measurement standpoint. So when we get to the end of the quarter, where can we look for each one of these things? Uh, once, once these are all in the OKR sheet and finalized, um, maybe we can add links back to issues that we filed. Or if they're not in the project's repo, add a link to where we would check for that. Plus one. Hi, Bruce. All right. Last, last item in our agenda. So add more agenda items if your item hasn't been covered. Um, the blog post we want to ship this quarter. Um, offline implications capabilities of IPFS, I, uh, Q3 priorities, more camp posts, network usage, DWeb camp. Yeah, I think having some for these, these events that we expect to be attending um, makes a lot of sense, um, kind of like the IPFS camp recap, but um, with, you know, I, I think there are many other things that we want to talk about from IPFS camp. There was so much great discussion and content there that, um, yeah, I imagine having or helping others um, create these recap posts for IPFS camp. There's a lot of fodder there, um, whereas for some of the, the events we're going to in the next couple months, um, having a single post that recaps both kind of our our, our participation and our top takeaways or um, the coolest things we saw or stuff like that um, could be could be super cool um, so I think signing ourselves up for for each of these these events to do a post makes sense um, web 3 is another one that falls into that bucket which is end of August um, and the last web 3 also had some really cool IPFS related discussions um, I am tentatively planning to go but haven't thought about it any more than making sure that I'm not otherwise booked that particular week. Um, so those definitely are on the mind. Um, other people want to comment on some of the items that other folks wrote down here. I'll just throw out in response to your, your mention of like how much we can get out of IPFS camp on specific topics. The model that we use for offline camp, which is admittedly a very different beast, and this is an extremely time consuming effort, but we actually have volunteers who are at each. For, there, are more, there are more kinds of content at IPFS camp, but at offline camp, for example, it's like the discussions that happen on conference discussions. We get a volunteer from each of those who takes the written summary and turns it into a blog post. So a structure like that, um, Maybe it doesn't work until the next event, but a structure like that where you then need an editor to be pulling from different people and editing the content, but having volunteers write about stuff that they were engaged in can work well. It's just a ton of work. Yeah, something that comes to mind based on what you're suggesting is also having area DRIs from um, IPFS camp talk about the area that they were DRI for because um, they tend to have the you know, they, they have the connections of kind of who did what. So if you did lightning talks, you probably have the information from most of the people who are doing lightning talks um, and most of their presentation um, material. And I know that's, that's like, again, distributing load for writing a lot of posts across um, the team. Um, but that definitely will be better than trying to ask one person to write eight blog posts all about various content happening in IMPFS camp. Um, I do really love the idea of getting more people throughout the community doing this, though. I think that'd be really awesome. Yeah, I guess another thing that falls in this bucket of, well, I guess not specifically blog posts, but like communications bucket, other stuff we want to communicate. Um, I need to circle back with Zach on this to get an estimate, but you said there may be more um, budget checking mid-quarter as to whether it might make sense to do interviews at offline camp of people who are on that bridging that borderline of offline first and IPFS, in which case it would be like interview format video about offline capabilities of IPFS. So that's one option for an output if it were something that we were able to fund. I know offline camp doesn't have the money to be able to fund it themselves. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Zach was saying that some of the video content from um, IPFS camp was going to be ready like 
within the first two weeks. So um, we're probably going to have a, a dump of that getting ready soon and we should make sure to do the processing and get it out to people quickly so that they can also share it and link to it and all of their, we've definitely been getting pings of like, I would like to include the video of my lightning talk in this other publication. So it's definitely a thing too. Um, all right, we have two minutes left. Um, other things, or should we index back in onto anything that people want to talk about more? Teacher. Do we want to do a blog post about the Q3, the, the reprioritization that came out of TNIC to let the community know what we're working on? Or do we want to let them know after we have worked on it? Um, so last, last quarter we did um, videos. And so every, every group did kind of a, a video walking through their OKR section of the sheet. And we put these all things, all these things out as videos. Um, I think it'll be significantly faster to do as a blog post. Um, I like the idea. Um, at the same time, it also feels like we're just going to take what's on GitHub and like smush it around, but maybe that's still really useful to people to like put it into a, a more accessible uh, readable blog post form than reading through GitHub. So I'm seeing lots of thumbs up. Um, Diedrich, if you want to take a pass at this or if anyone else is excited to, I'm, I'm super down. Let's make it happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to if, if nobody else wants to. I will summarize. I don't want to. I do not have time, but I can help you. Do a first pass. Perfect. We will align our powers. Huzzah. Awesome. Let's plan to do it. Um, we, are, we are now out of time, but we shall continue on these threads async. And as we finish, finalize our OKRs, which should be a top priority for all of us, um, let's make sure that we have GitHub issues for tracking so that we can continue onward with all of these awesome tasks. Woohoo. Okay. I'm going to stop recording.